So in gaming, just like in the other part of the entertainment industry, I'm talking about movies, TV, woke activists have seemed to have infiltrated every aspect of entertainment. And in this video, I'm going to talk about a game that just announced yesterday is, is shutting down after only being out for two weeks. Before I get into that, just want to say thank you to everybody that takes the time out of their day to watch my videos, watch my content. Um, appreciate each and every one of you 18,000 plus subscribers to the channel. Um, if you're new here, welcome. And if you like what I'm doing, like what I'm talking about, the best way you can support the channel is to give a subscribe, give a like, and hopefully everybody, before you leave, you leave a comment down below. Whether you agree with me or disagree with me, that's fine. I, I've made it known for a long time that I'm doing this just to, just to start a discussion. And you don't have to agree with me. You can wholeheartedly 100% disagree with me, and that's fine. Or you can wholeheartedly 100% agree with me. That's fine, too. So with that, let's get into it, shall we? PlayStation to end service for Concord just two weeks after launch will issue complete refunds to all players. See, now I'm not up on gaming as much as I have been in the past. You know, as you get older and life happens and you can't spend as much time gaming as you used to. I mean, I'm an OG Counter-Strike player. I'm an OG Half-Life player. I'm an OG uh, Team Fortress player. I go back to the original Call of Duty. I go back to the original Battlefield days, Battlefield 1942. Games I haven't played in a long time. Medal of Honor, Allied Assault. Excellent game back in the day. So while I'm not up on the gaming, in the gaming sphere like I used to be, when I see something like this, I just kind of go, hmm, this wouldn't have happened back in the day. So here's the deal. This game called Concord had been in development, I guess, for eight years. Yeah, eight years, according to this article here at Bounding Into Comics. And it was released just two weeks ago on August 23rd. And uh, it's being shut down. Why is it being shut down? Well, just from the screenshots here, I, you guys can um, probably infer why it's being shut down. I mean, come on. So here we have another... Another instance of woke activists run amok as game developers and, and, and putting a game out there that is supposed to appeal to everybody. When the reality is it appealed to a small group of people, in fact, so small that less than 700 max players played this game online. Ouch. I bet I could hop on um, OG Counter-Strike 1.6 right now and find more than 700 players on a server. Or more than 700 players total, I should say. This is from That Park Place. PlayStation pulls the plug on Concord, shuts game down after less than two weeks and offers full refunds. In a blog post, Firewalk Studios game developer Ryan Ellis announced, at this time, we have decided to take the game offline beginning September 6, 2024, and explore options, including those that will better reach our players. Better reach your players. The best way to reach your players is to put servers out there online for them to find and play the game. He also shared that the company will be offering full refunds while we determine the best path ahead. Concord sales will cease immediately, and we will begin to offer full refunds for all gamers who have purchased the game for PS5 or PC. So if they purchase it for, uh, through the PlayStation Store, PlayStation Direct, Steam, whatever, they're going to get the refunds automatically. If you actually went to a brick and mortar store to buy a copy of the game, well, you got to abide by those return policies. 
The game was already plagued with negative feedback from the onset, with many players decrying for the game, decrying the game for its ugly designs and promotion of transgender ideology with the inclusion of pronouns. And there you have it, folks. The message. So the message has infiltrated all forms of entertainment. Sweet Baby Inc. Detected Steam Curator list. Cabrutus Rambo noted at the end of May. So the effing robot has pronouns in the next Sony game. Okay. What? Why would a robot have pronouns? Why? X user Mangalawyer also mocked. Oh my God. Finally, literally a playable tank. I guess he's referring to this, this individual right here, possibly. Instead of addressing these concerns, Firewalk Studios chose to ignore them. Speaking with VGC, the company's director of IP, Kim, I'm going to butcher this last name, Krines, stated, yeah, that trailer. That moment is such a tiny slice of everything that we've been working on for years and years. We're excited for the game and for the IP and for the game to be in people's hands, the IP to be in people's minds. I'm personally excited for the IP for folks to delve into the galactic guide if that is something they choose to do for those vi vignettes to come out on a weekly basis. You'll start to fall in love with the depth of the characters. Yeah, that didn't happen. That's something that you learn to that you learn week to week. Their personalities will unfold, their relationships will unfold for you, their backstories. None of that is something that you can get in a tiny little slice of it. Wow. When the game released its early access in July, it only had a peak concurrent player count of just 1124 players. Ouch. That's not good. When the game went into open beta, it barely improved with a peak of current 2,388. While the peak and current went up, to, up on Steam between the early access and open beta, a report from True Trophies indicated that the player accounts on PlayStation declined. I mean, I, I got nothing. All I can say is, hopefully, somebody somewhere will learn that people just want to be entertained, whether it's a movie, a TV show, a book, a comic, a magazine, a video game. They just want to be entertained. They don't want the message pushed onto them. And clearly firewalk studios didn't get that message. Somewhere along the line in the eight years of development, somebody probably went, yeah, we, th this is popular now. We need to do X. Let's put it in the game. Like pronouns for robots. And as I myself say, and others have said, and I know Sony's not going to go out of business anytime soon. Firewalk Studios might after losing $200 million on this game. But the adage from the last few years is go woke, go broke. So what do you guys think of this? I, I, I think it's great. People need to speak with their wallets when it comes to this stuff. If, if people in the entertainment business, the entertainment industry, whether it's movies, TV, video games, are going to create content where their main goal is to push a message and check a bunch of boxes, people just need to vote with their wallet and stop. And eventually, eventually, these people will get the message. So there you have it, my two cents for what it's worth. What do you guys think? Did you even buy a copy of Concord? Comment down below. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. 
hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, I will see you guys later.